Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman admits that the more successful she becomes, the lonelier she gets. No more wasting time. Let's check it out. Something I didn't really anticipate in my life being single is that the more successful you get, the more single kind of hurts. You would think it would be the opposite. I don't know if I want to admit this on camera, but maybe somebody else is feeling like this and maybe they need to hear it. <laughs> okay. I am a very independent person. I pride myself on like, I can do anything alone. You there it is. Just keep listening. Seen me talk about it on here. But I'm at a point in my life right now where I am arguably the most successful I've ever been personally. I own my own home. I'm in my dream show in Las Vegas, about to start a top secret new project that is the first of its kind. I've been doing commercials left and right. My social media is starting to kind of take off. I'm more financially secure than I've been in many years, all doing things that I built myself. But at the end of the day, I come home to my house that I bought myself. And I have nobody to talk to about any of this. I have tons of friends and lots of you in my DMs. But at the end of the day, I am still home by myself. Don't you love how she's trying to avoid that she doesn't have a man? That, I mean, you're talking about you have a bunch of friends, but in your house, someone in your home, you're talking about a husband, a man. And we've gotten to the point now in culture where the idea of telling a woman that she'd be more satisfied at home with the family, a husband, is almost taboo that she doesn't even want to admit it. Probably a feminist. Let's keep listening. And at the end of the day, I think the thing about being single that people in a relationship don't quite understand or forget is that you have a built-in person. Like you have a built-in friend all the time. I get invited to all these events and I'm always like, who am I gonna bring? And then none of my friends can go because our schedules are not the same or, and I'm always just like, well, am I gonna go if I have to go by myself? And I, I usually end up going alone because being alone is never gonna stop me. But I'm just getting tired. And ironically, the more successful I get, the worse this feels, not the better it feels. You would think it would be the opposite. You would think, oh, when you're successful and everything else is going right in your life, then that's going to suck less. No, that's not what people think. What's, well, at least people who are caffeinated understand that life's about people. Life's about family. Life's about relationships. And for both men and women, by the way. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You but especially women. I want to share those things with people. I want to go out and do stuff. I'm just kind of tired. Being independent is great, but sharing your life with somebody, the little things with people, not just the big going out for margaritas with the girlfriends or family functions. Like I want the little things all the time. Anyway, if you feel like me, you're not alone. I guess that's the point of the video. If you're a solid bad B, keep rocking and don't settle i don't want these things bad enough oh come on man. no um i'll have a tea actually i thought we were making progress <laughs> at the end of this all thing she's like anyways don't slow down keep running towards that wall hit it at the highest impact you possibly can and don't settle incredible to settle so i'm just waiting for somebody to meet me where i'm at i guess it's going to end in tears. It's going to end in tears. She's going to be like the woman who's 60 and just admitted that she's going to die alone. Not my words, her words. Let's check out some of these comments. See what the people have to say. First comment here says, another strong and independent woman. Next comment says, I've met plenty of women with more that don't get. We can still be better together. The same reason I date women with less. It's not about what you have. And you date women with less because women with less most times are more in tune with their smv sexual market value this woman thinks that the more money she's made the more men she's qualified herself for when in fact it's the exact opposite the smaller her pool of men of suitable candidates 
Another comment here from another woman says, just like anything else, allow yourself to try to enjoy this part of your journey. You are loved and so worthy. You beautiful human, you too. So another comment says, it's harder doing that and being married. I know it's lonely sometimes, but know that being with someone and them not being happy for you is even worse. Again, single women keep each other single. Crazy how I thought this video was going to go a totally different direction, but hey, as always, I'm curious to know, what do you guys think? If your comments down below, I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.